with that being said, this one has a lot of hype behind it. It's a lot of movies that have kind of been brought together, um, different time frames, different, different. I mean, let's just call it what it is. Totally different vibes, totally different movies that yeah. has been brought together. Uh, and who else to bring movies together than Samuel L. Jackson? Let's be honest. My, Brad, um, um, <laughs> I, I give M. Not Shyamalan so much crap. I call him nickname after nickname, but I'm going to go on a limb and say that Unbreakable is one of my favorite movies of all time. I'll even put it up a bunch against actual combo movies. It's probably one of the best superhero movies ever made, but it takes place in a real world. A real guy that found out he was unbreakable, he survived an accident, and suddenly he can actually save people. Now, with Split coming out, that whole twist ending at Split when it showed David Dunn from Unbreakable, was I the only person here that, I don't know if you'd seen before, I know Peeps had, that jumped up in the theater like, holy shit, this is actually really cool. I marked out for a second, and I was like, I wonder if they'll actually do anything with this. And, I did too. That's what and I now we're getting something like, we're getting Mr. Glass, Sam Jackson's character from the first movie, is putting together a villain team, supposedly, to fight David Dunn. And I am 100% on board with that because this is a real-life superhero th- or so, supervillain movie. So we have Bruce Willis, Sam Jackson, and James McAvoy all in the same movie? Yes, and anybody that's seen Split, Split was easily James McAvoy's best performance ever because he played, what, 37 different people in the same movie? Which... Which is very impressive. I mean, seriously, we got some actors who can't even play one character, correctly. <laughs> and then we have some act- actors that can only play one character. Correctly. Multiple personalities are always awesome because it shows range for characters when they have to play somebody like that. Right. Well, You're correct. Without further ado, let's, here we go. Let's get her done. Let's... Don't ever it's say that. It is simply extraordinary. Maybe this will all make sense if I explain who I am. My name is Dr. Ellie Staple, and I'm a psychiatrist. My work concerns a particular type of delusion of grandeur. It's a growing field. I specialize in those individuals who believe they are superheroes. I wonder how big that film is. Oh! All three of them right there. So was that Patricia? Oh. David Dunn, the only person to survive that train wreck all those years ago. What do you do? I'm in security. <laughs> <laughs> it's a feeling, a vision. I have to touch them. You believe you are a protector. There he is. My name is Patricia. <laughs> Beast. There are two dozen identities. I'm Mary Reynolds. What about her? We almost got you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we almost got you, bro. We made it now for you guys. <laughs> and questioning is your belief that you are something more than human. Beast. Jack. Mr. Glass. And yet, it is true. My bones break easily. I've had 94 breaks in my life. And you have an extraordinary IQ. This is not a cartoon. This is the real world. No way. And yet, some of us still don't die with bullets. Some of us can still bend steel. I've been waiting for the world to see that we exist. I meet the beast. I hope for your sake that he likes you. That sounds like the bad guys teaming up. A lot of people are going to die. Don't do this. Are you ready? What do we call you, sir? First name, Mr. Last name. That looks incredible. Like, uh, out of all the trailers that we just watched, I have fucking goosebumps. Like, literally. yeah, that's the best one. That like, was uh, it. 
Like, literally fucking goosebumps. Out of all the Sam trailers, Jackson, for one. Out of all the trailers we watched, I think we're looking at the only one that's got any kind of potential for winning major awards. I mean, that's... It, just what we've seen right there, i seen, like... Dude, James McAvoy, like, the person we know playing Professor X, we've seen him as the beast in Split. Yeah. But watching this, like, jacked up, like... Yeah. Ready to go, like, beat somebody's ass. Well, like, you could see him, like... Actually, looking that character, he's the beast. That his Look character, like his, and what like about what is almost got you, bro? Yeah, I mean, like he has the wow. persona of all his personalities. He's able to act it out and look the part of all those Damn, personalities. Bro. Yeah, because he looked just like some skinny surfer dude. You know, look at that suit. I mean, I just as Patricia, he even felt like yeah, innocent, like. Oh, I'm Patricia. Like you still yeah. felt innocent, and then suddenly he becomes a beast, and it's like, holy shit! Like, and then yeah. look, notice we didn't even mention Bruce Willis. Yeah, that's, did you have to mention Bruce Willis? It's Bruce Willis. It's Bruce Willis. Come on, I mean, not like, if you have a struggling anything, and you bring <laughs> Bruce Willis in, it's about to take off. If you have a tank top from a movie and the Smithsonian, <laughs> then you won as an actor. Yeah, because it's unbreakable. Top, like he started all this. His tank top from uh, Die, Die Hard is in the Smithsonian. I mean, but, unbreakable started all this. Yeah. So we know it's Bruce Willis' story overall. Yeah, his character story. But when you take the the villain, they spent a whole movie around with Split. And then you take the side character of Glad or Unbreakable, and you make a whole movie based on them. Then you know Bristol is going to be there, but at the same time, it gives McAvoy and Jackson a time to shine when they were kind of in the backside. I want to know uh, just from her starting dialogue about this growing field. I want to know how much that field is actually growing, like the delusions of being a superhero. How many people in that world think they're superheroes? Like, yeah, I want to know. Like, do we have? Three scientists where we used to have one. And like, well, I mean, think about this: as much superheroism, Damn, that. Like, as much superheroism that's been pumped down our throats with these movies, that's probably actually really. But a this, thing. this is a real life thing. Like people with multiple yeah. personalities, people that may have some disease that makes their bones stronger than the other one, people that may have disease that makes their bones more brittle than others, like Glass and Mister Glass and David Dunn, and then you have this guy like. The Beast, who is a split personality of somebody like um, Some nice Kevin. I, was that his name, Kevin? I think so. Yeah, like... By the way... Uh, there, you go. He looks a lot like Killmonger in the comic books. That's not... Um, Professor X from yeah. the new yeah. X-Men movies. No, this, uh, James McAvoy is going above and beyond for this. Yeah. Like, he... Uh, it reminds me of... Tom Hardy in The Warrior when he went above and beyond actually physique. Overall, Brad, we haven't started with you on hop scale. Nine. I'm hop. Like I said, Unbreakable is one of my favorite movies of all time. So, uh, I normally after I liked Unbreakable, I thought it was a good movie. It's not one that I would just rant and rave about, but this, uh, way more hop about this than Unbreakable. I'm going eight. Uh. After watching three videos in a row, and then this being the fourth, and this one being out of all of them that gave me actual fucking goosebumps, I would have to give it a 10, just because, I mean, if you get goosebumps during a trailer, then... I'm there day one, like, Thursday night premiere. I'm probably going to see this on day one. Yeah. yeah. If, I mean, yeah. I mean, if they show this Thursday here in Gadsden, I'm there. Uh, yeah, without a doubt. So everyone look forward to what will be a very busy year. If not, Shyamalan actually makes good movies, people. Trust me. Yeah. Well, you yeah. just have to look for them. It's not Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, not guys, the good Avatar that, you know, James Cameron. The last I render. And uh, we're going to close out. And I thank every one of you. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the bell for the notifications as we upload. You will get those instantly. You guys have a good night. We need... No, before he hits it, we need feedback. Anytime you ever feel we're wrong on something, if you want to contradict us, if you have actual suggestions, comment on the video. Please put it in the comments on YouTube. That's where we're looking at. And look forward to a very busy year after all these trailers. (laughs) We're We're going to have to We're about to blow up, guys. Starting with a very busy weekend. Starting with a very busy tomorrow. Yeah, very busy tomorrow. Um, Thank you, guys. Peace out.